Sloan Wilson, uh, the work where he works out his theory that religion is an adaptation to increase group cohesion. It's called Darwin's Cathedral. And uh, so if you're taking the Darwinian lens on religion, you can begin maybe thinking of religion as an adaptation, as something that, that assists the organism who possess, possesses it. But Dennett points out that, that from the Darwinian lens, you could also think about religion as a virus. That's, that's another thing it could be, um, or elements of religion could be viral, meaning we are the host and religion is the virus, which is somehow getting itself spread by co-opting our own reproductive machinery. Uh, <clears throat> this really um, is expressed nicely in Susan Blackmore's example of the useless internet memeplex, which bears close analogy to a very common religious idea. So here is here's something people from my generation of 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 <clears throat> computer use remember. These used to show up in our inbox all the time. I'm thinking back to the to the 90s, maybe before spam filters were at all effective. Warning, warning, news just in from IBM or Bill Gates or whatever the current uh, popular authority of techno culture is. Terrible virus. Warn all your friends immediately that if they open a mail called blah, blah, whatever it is, um, the name changes in the variations of this memeplex, their hard disk will be wiped clean. So this is this is a metavirus. It's a it's a bit of it's a it's a, uh, a bit of code, meaning just a sequence of English words which appear in the content of your email message, which are about a putative executable virus. And <laughs> the, th the thing is there, is, there is no such virus that's going around. The virus is the actual email message. This is the virus, and it's not an executable program. It's not that by opening this particular message and reading it, your hard drive is now going to be wiped. It's that you worry that this warning is true, and then you warn all your friends. How do you do it? You open up your address book and click, 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 quickly send it off to 10 associates. And of those 10, maybe five get worried like you do and send it off to 10 of their associates. And you can see oh, very quickly by trading on lack of information and fear, this bit of information, which is all a virus is, if we want to be a bit reductive, this bit of information could spread very quickly through a social ecosystem. And, and Blackmore says, <laughs> This has a sort of chemical structure, this bit of information, that we can reduce whatever the content of this message or its variance is. It, they, it's, a, its effectiveness can be understood by reducing it to this very simple core message, CTAP. Copy me. The C means copy me. And that's annexed. That, that, that request to be copied is annexed to threats and promises. So please copy me. And if you don't copy me, bad things will happen to you and your loved ones and good things. In this case, the good thing will just be the bad thing not happening to you. Uh, I'm sure you've seen emails which promise good things to you if you pass the message on and explicitly warn about bad things. That, you know, the, um, say, say 10 Hail Marys and good things will come to you if you pass this particular Hail Mary request, request on to 10 of your friends. And terrible things will happen if you don't. So that's, um, I mean, that's an interesting case of a, of an internet memeplex spread by email, which itself has an explicitly religious content. And indeed, Blackmore says that this CTAP structure can can be discerned at the heart of the theistic religions. If you think about what the copy me instruction is in Islam and Christianity, it's um, spread the word. And the threats and the promises are the good things that will come to those who believe and spread the word and the bad things that will come to those who don't heaven and hell most dramatically and whether or not the gospel news is true you could see how it would be likely to spread if it was framed in the right way right if we put warning warning news just in from 
I don't know, Kleenex Corporation here, um, that version of the meme would be less likely to spread by email. But if we if we frame it right and refer to a relevant techno authority, then people are more likely to gullibly accept the information and the warning. And similarly, if the CTAP religious message is framed appropriately, maybe, for example, with very beautiful choral masses sung in a very beautifully designed cathedral and uh, um, uh, expanded upon in sermon by a charismatic, symmetrically attired um, um, priestly authority, the religious CTAP structure could spread quite wide and far, or you can imagine a whole ecology of competing religious CTAPs. Um, and over history, a couple will emerge into dominance, and that's what we've seen. We've seen Christianity and Islam together account for now the, the uh, majority of human religiosity. You could understand their success as just the long life of a particular CTAP um, message. Again, we're being 